Chief State Attorney Sylvia Adesu argued that the High Court would be overreaching its mandate if it interfered by granting the application filed by the South Dai legislator since the matter between Parliament and the Executive was still pending, citing that the bill was yet to be assented. She also indicated that there were two applications pending before the Supreme Court challenging the passage of the bill and hence urged the court to turn down the mandamus application. But in her ruling, presiding judge Ellen Miriku explained that per the processes in the docket, the High Court had jurisdiction to determine the matter. Citing her discretionary powers, Justice Miriku dismissed the mandamus application after indicating that the Supreme Court should be allowed to rule on the two suits before it. She added that it will be inappropriate to compel the Speaker of Parliament and the President to act on the anti-gay bill with the pending suits before the Apex Court. Counsel for Roxanne Nelson de Femipo expressed disappointment at the ruling. Now, I want to take a certified copy of the, but I have every indication from my client that we will probably have to go to the Court of Appeal because if we meet the criteria for granting the remedy and we have satisfied the necessary requirements, the discretion, I believe, should be exercised in favor of the Constitution and not wait and for the Supreme Court to deal with the matter that it has not yet dealt with. What we have is a life matter. And until the Supreme Court deals with that matter, the High Court has jurisdiction to deal with the matter. The NDC Member of Parliament asked for a declaration that, according to Article 1061 and 7 of the Constitution, a president can only assent to or refuse to assent to a bill within seven days unless the bill has been referred to the Council of State. He also sought a declaration that the president cannot prevent Parliament from transmitting a bill that has been passed and sent to him. Again, the Member of Parliament wanted a declaration that a letter dated March 18, 2024, addressed to the Clerk of Parliament and signed by the Secretary to the President is in contravention of the Constitution and hence must be withdrawn by the President. Lord Idwasari, TV3 News, Accra.